Hello peeps and welcome back to Uplink, episode 2. Let's go ahead and log into the game. I am right back where I left off. Let's see, at the end of last episode, we had finished up a couple of missions. It's time to go back to Uplink Internal Services. Now, we still don't really have enough money to do a whole lot of fun stuff yet, so we're going to do some more missions first. Uh, let's see here. We're going to start doing some of these here. We're going to start asking for more money on every one of these. And because we are a proven hacker now, they are going to be a lot easier for us to get more money out of. Now, not every one of them is going to do it, but... All you have to do is click out. Contact. I want more money. Usually, once the, uh, there we go, usually once the mission starts to go a little bit like a gray color like that, it becomes pretty easy to get more money out of them. Want more money? No. Want more money? No. Come on, you're going to give us more money. You are going to give us more money. There you go. That's better. Okay. Now we'll do this one. And we'll do this one. Good. Okay, now we'll exit the BBS. We will disconnect, and we're going to start up our trace tracker. Alright, so, who are our victims? P-Logic, Electronica, Electronica. This is actually good. We have two missions going to the same place. Eclipse, and Zion. So, this one here is Steal, this one here is Delete. Okay, they are not after the same file. That's good. Okay, so, we are going to load our bounce path, and we are going to connect to Zion first, since we already have an admin password there. Okay, what were we doing at Zion? At Zion, we are copying a file, so we'll start the file copier. And they want 92982. That one right there. Pull up our memory banks, drop it in, reply, attach the file, send, wait for the mission, delete. Now here's something you can do if you know you have a good bounce path. You can keep these both open, and you can delete the file as soon as you're done with it. There's really no point in keeping the files. This is the one where we have two missions at once. Looks like we already have an admin password here, too. So, we got a trace going. We're going to do the copy first. It's this one here. So, file server. Copy. Uh, 909. Where is it? There it is. Oh, these guys are tracing us a little faster. They're already 14%. Okay, and we need to delete uh, 39658. So, reply. That's done. Reply, attach, that, send. Oh, we got the wrong file. Now what, we're going to disconnect from this because it's starting to get a little hairy there. So we need to reply with 909, send. 
There we go. Delete. Delete. Load. Connect P logic. This one we don't have. So we will crack the password here. We are stealing here, so we're going to need our file copy already. What are we stealing? 68900. Reply. Send. That one's done. Disconnect. Load. Where's our last victim? There it is. Clips. We already have a have in password there. What are we doing in Eclipse? We are copying 6543. Nope, not that one. File utilities, file copier, 6543. We'll boost that to get it done faster. Paste it there. Reply. With that, send. Delete, disconnect. And we'll go ahead and start deleting these here. We can kill the file copier. Now we can kill that. We'll connect to internic. Go to the admin section, get our log deleter, and we need to keep the connection established, but we need to get rid of the bounce paths. There we go. We'll disconnect from that, and we've covered our tracks on all four hacks. Pretty neat, huh? All right. Back to Uplink Internal Services, and now we should have... Don't have any new missions available, but we do have Improve Our Associates Academic Standing. Now, this is kind of a new beast. This is, this is attacking the uh, an International Academic Database. So we're going to contact them, and we are going to say, How secure is the target? The security will be low. I want more money. No. Uh, we also are going to try the overrated and generated university degree. We're actually going to try this one first because it was starting to gray out. It's going to be easier for us to get more money for this one. Notice how the color here is just slightly more gray than the others. Want more money? You will give me more money. You will give me more money. They're going to give me more money. They are going to give me more money. Start to piss me off. All right, I'm going to leave that one alone. I'm going to get help us prove and a fellow, a fellow employee is overrated. I'm going to try this. Oh, hey, they'll take it. Now oh, what the hell? They'll take it too. How about you? Or are you still going to be stubborn? You're still going to be stubborn. Okay, so we have two missions to attack the International Academic Database. However, we don't know what kind of software that they are running, so what we are going to do is we are going to buy the IP Probe software. Now, let's see here. I don't 
want to buy the max version right now. All I really need to know is the types in use. Let's see here. Yeah, all I really need to know is the types in use. So we're going to buy level 1 IP probe. We're going to run it now. Now the IP probe lets you enter an IP address. In this case, we're going to put in 443.65. Okay, um, yeah, so I use the numlock key for my recording. And yeah, so I just accidentally shut my video off there for a second. Um, it's probably going to desync my sound just a little bit. I caught it pretty fast, but so I can't hit the seven key. We're going to probe that. It's going to give us an email. The only thing they're running is a monitor. That's good. Oh, hi. Hi, Tauntaun. Okay, so, monitor is easy stuff. Where is the International Academic Database? It's right up there. We're going to load, connect to that, and connect to that. Now, here is a trick. If you connect to the read-write section, of the International Academic Database. You can crack the password for that. Oh, now if I guess you gotta be able to disable the monitor for them not to care. Okay. There we go, we are in the search records. We are going to look for Warren Simpson. It goes in alphabetical order, so there is no point in hoping this is going to get done faster. It's going to be right at the very end. There we go. Uh, this guy needs a third class replacement. Third class, commit, academic record updated, reply, send. And it's as easy as that. Search the records again. And now we are going to look for Christopher Venny. Here we are generating a degree. We're giving him a systems engineering class one. delete that and we're done so we will go to internic very fast access the logs we will delete bounce and the authentication now notice this here this means that somebody other than me accessed the logs, which means it could be someone looking for me. However, that's a personal phone number, so I'm not terribly worried about it. All right, how much money do we have now? 22,000. Getting to have some pretty decent money here. Now, there's some software that we could start buying here that's going to be pretty necessary in the future. I'm speaking at the moment of the HUD connection analysis. However, it's pretty expensive and we don't really have the money for it as of yet, so we're going to hold off on that. We're going to go back to the mission list. We are going to contact, I want more money. 
Are you serious? Want more money? Give me more money. I'm going to try one more time. If I don't get it, that's it. Whatever. I'll do it. Okay, we're going back to the academic database. We already have the password here, so we'll connect. Notice we're not being traced. That's because, as far as the system is concerned, we haven't done anything wrong. We haven't run any software to try and brute force the password. All we did was log in. So I have pretty much all day to do this mission. Artificial Intelligence sees a class 1. Rating is now intermediate. That'll open up some new missions for us, but first, to cover our tracks. It shouldn't technically be necessary here. Because I wasn't being traced. Oops, no. Close that. Admin. Since I wasn't being traced, I shouldn't have to do this. But I am anyway. There we go. And, oh, no. Disconnect. Done. Back to uplink. If we look at the mission list, oh, we have some new stuff. Now, destroy customer records on a sales system has opened up. Trace a balance transfer has opened up. These can be very, very interesting. However, it requires a bank hack. We're not quite ready to do that yet. We have to be able to take out some software before we can do that. We're going to go with create part of a new identity first. Contact. Want more money, as always. We're going to try this one first, since it's further up. Want more money. There we go. Now we'll take that. Uh, let's see here. Falsify a social security document is the same thing. We'll take that. Create part of a new identity is the same thing. More money. No thanks. Contact. More money. Is this going to be another one of those? Oh, everyone except this one employer is going to do it for you. More money. Okay. Start no annoying me. One more try. If he doesn't do it this time, I'll take it. Whatever. Uh... More money. Whatever. I'll take it. Don't care. Okay. These all involve the National Social Security Database. If we were to come over here and run our IP probe, and we trace, now remembering not to use my numpad keys, 653, 
dot seven six dot two three five dot four three two. If we take a look at this, they are running a proxy and a monitor. Now, we don't know what level of proxy they have. I can pretty much tell you it's a proxy level one. What we're going to do here is we are going to exit the BBS. And we have $25,000 now. We need a way to get past a proxy in order to do this mission. Now, I'm going to start with proxy disable. We're going to purchase that. I should only really need to use that once. We're going to exit the market. We're going to disconnect. And we are going to get ready for our first major hack. Now, up to this point, the hacks that I've been doing have basically just been slaps on the wrist. If I get caught, nothing bad happens. I get fined. I get, you know, yelled at. But nothing major. The Social Security database is serious business. If you get caught hacking that, you're done. We're going to connect. And we are going to start our proxy disable. This is going to work on disabling their proxy. We're going to be ready as soon as they detect this action. We're going to break the password. Now the proxy has to be disabled before we can do anything here. So success. Proxy is down. Okay, we don't have as much time this time, so we're gonna have to get right to it. We're gonna go to for Paul Jones. We are setting his personal status to employed. Now this one's a little more random, and I really need to figure out a way to disable that Steam thing. We'll commit that change. Reply, send. Wait, what? I haven't changed the data. I have. Oh, joins. Search. They're getting awfully close. I'm going to have to disconnect and restart. Employed. Commit. Done. Disconnect. Okay, my username and password was revoked. That's okay. We're going to connect. We're going to wipe out the log. I didn't mean to wipe that out, but we'll wipe that one out to match it. And we'll wipe that one out. Now that covers our tracks. We're going to disconnect from here. We got one mission done in the time that we were on. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to load our bounce pattern. We're going to go right back. Now, we are going to take advantage of the fact that a proxy, once it's, dis once it's disabled, takes a little while to get put back up. Now their security is a little bit beefier, so it takes a while longer to get it 
to get through it. They're almost 20% traced by the time I'm through breaking the password. So I don't really have a lot of time to do these hacks. Okay, search records. We're looking for Tim Gordon. His status we are setting to deceased. Ah, damnation. No. Alright, peeps, I'm back after a little bit of technical difficulty. I don't know exactly what happened, but apparently one of my F keys crashes my game. So, let's pick up where we left off. We're going to connect to the Social Security database. We're going to run our trace tracker because it got shut down. We're going to break the password. And the proxy should still be down. Wait, okay, we're actually already in. So we're going to search records. Tim Gordon. We're setting his to deceased. Changes committed. Reply send. What? You haven't changed the data yet? Yeah, I have. Denied access by proxy. Damnation. Cracker security. Proxy disable. Go. I'm on proxy. Come on. They managed to get the proxy back online while I was derping around. Success. Commit. Done. Reply. Send. Next person. Next person we're after is... John, John Macanachi, whatever the hell that means. We're setting his status to employed. Commit that change. Close, reply, send. Next victim. We're going to try and do them all. Paul Kenway, 60% traced, setting it to deceased. Commit, reply, set, done. Search. Benjamin Totham, go. Changing his to employed. Commit. Done. Reply. Send. Disconnect. We need to be very fast in doing this because we were in that system for way too long. Okay, that should be good. We'll disconnect, and we need to... Didn't we send that? Yeah, now we did. <clears throat> Rating is untrustworthy. My Neuromancer changed. Alright, we're now, proverbially, rolling in some cash.
we're going to connect to here. We're going to go to the software upgrades panel and we're going to buy that connection analysis thing. There's no extra versions of it, so we'll just purchase it and now we have a new button here. That lets us pull up the types of connection running on the server. Yeah, no other versions. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is we need to buy some bypassers. We'll need at the very least proxy bypass, which we have now. And how much money do we have left? Only 6k? Yeah, that's going to have to do for now. Mission list. Find financial details. Now, with this, we should be able to do this without having to worry too much about proxies and firewalls and all that shit. Because we're not really going to be changing anything. We're just going to be looking at it. So, even here, we can do the trace of balance transfer one. We can do all of these. So, what we're going to do is we're going to contact Walmart Money. We're actually going to try all of these. We're going to try to get more money out of them. I'm about to start taking them just to get them done so I can finish this. I've already derped twice on this recording. I kind of just want to do the mission so I can get it done. One more time. Whatever, we'll take it. No, we're not going to take any more at the moment because we might be able to get a promotion out of this. Now, we're doing a bank hack, and that's pretty serious business. So we're going to want some more machines on our bounce path, I think. Uh, actually, we're going to disconnect from Internet for the moment. We're going to go here, and we're going to turn off... all of these. This is all the internal services machines. We don't need these highlighted on our map. We'll keep those three highlighted, but we're going to connect to Internet. We can do this directly. We're going to go to the Browse section, and we are going to look. Let's see. Actually, what are we going to do? We're actually just going to start adding everything that gets in our way. We're going to give, us our, give ourselves a super long bounce path before we start doing anything with banks. On a side note, I love how the IP address for Internic is listed at Internic. That should be enough. We'll disconnect, and if we open this, 
we'll load our bounce path, and we'll just start connecting. Actually, you know what? We're going to cancel. We're going to set ourselves up a brand new bounce path. Remember, we need to go through Internic first. Actually, no, because that's going to take all of these servers off. So... Oh, that one was already part of our bounce path, so... No, it's not. It's fine. I think that one already is. Nope. This is now an absolute unholy mess. But it's much more secure for hacking. We'll have our last bounce go through right there. We'll save that connection. And we will look for this bank. Which bank is it? Cancel. Uh, we need the P logic International Bank. So we'll turn it back on. Now, where is that? There it is. Load our bounce path, take it out, put it on, and we will go ahead and connect to it. Now, we're going to go manage existing account, and we need account number 3021815. And we're going to break the password. Now the bank is going to start tracing us immediately, of course. Alright, we're going to view his statement, and holy shit, he transferred $900,000 to another bank here, didn't he? He's been naughty. So, we are going to send... Actually, we're not going to send anything, are we? Uh, I don't have a notepad. So, 479... Dot one eight eight dot nine nine one dot two nine one four one seven six zero eight three send to night dagger blah send oh okay that actually works out in our benefit. It lets us use the failed email. Let's start our trace tracker up again. I accidentally closed it. Let's just use our failed email as a notepad. Security, log deletes. Damn, I didn't want to delete that log. Oh well. Bank hacks are always serious business too, so you need to make absolutely sure you have a good, clean log here. So, now, what we're going to do is we're going to filter the word bank. We're going to look for a bank with the IP address that matches that, 479.188. So he sent it to Proxy Industries International. We don't need this one up anymore, so we'll close it. We're going to highlight that. We'll connect there. Manage an existing account. We are looking for account number 
6083. We are going to crack the password. We don't need our log deleter running at the moment. New account. The guy's name is Dan Page. We'll send that. That got us our money. It also got us an increase in our rank. We're going to save this account. Why are we going to save this account? Well, it should be fairly obvious why we're going to save this account, shouldn't it? Let's go ahead and clean our logs. Delete the authentication. Delete the bounce. disconnect and that's where I'm going to call this an episode. So next episode we will start doing some of the other bank hack missions and that should open up the next set of missions which is hacking the global criminal, da criminal database and that can actually open up a very profitable activity that I might engage in a little bit but we'll see what happens. So for right now this has been Night Dagger with Let's Play Uplink. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. I'll catch you later, peeps.